girl. Um, I have only 15 minutes, so I will try to be really quick and short and to give you a few ideas and examples on what does it work or what doesn't work. Um, so maybe a few words of pro about project education, but we could speak about project education after, in, for instance, in the corridor. Um, we are a consulting uh, company dedicated to the development and promotion of the link between education, research, and business world. Because in France, there is no link, a uh, very small link between uh, economic world and academic world. Um, we, we set up some think tanks about uh, education. We have uh, social involvement uh, on, uh, on education. And we work with a lot of universities, uh, researchers, uh, schools, uh, and uh, companies in, uh, in France. Um, maybe, so what is a prototype? Uh, how could we define a prototype? You have this, uh, this picture. Uh, of course, and that is the main issue, you have a lot of different uh, stakeholders in a prototype. You have the company, the academics, the private partners, uh, and you, with your project of research, you try to set up a product, and a new product. And what is interesting is that prototype most of the time when we speak about prototype, we think that it's only in uh, engineering or uh, with, uh, with animals or in biology. But with, in project education, we spend a lot of time and we work with a lot of uh, researchers in humanities. And it's really interesting to show that sometimes it's uh, even possible to set up prototypes in humanities. And for instance, I think that everybody has mm -hmm. this uh, iPhone, uh, and it's not an engineering project. First, it is a humanities prototype. It's a humanities prototype, and it's really, really important to understand for your day, for today, and for the next steps for you, uh, that for prototype, the first question, question is uh, what is the use and what are the needs of the people, what are the needs of the world. Because sometimes, I don't think it's your case, of course, because you are, I think, exceptional. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, so uh, I have a prototype to do. Um, this morning I wake up and uh, I, I told to my uh, to my, daughter, to my son, uh, I will do a prototype. <laughs> and at this time, uh, a friend uh, which is in the same laboratory, laboratory as me called me and I told him, oh, you could do, uh, you could make the prototype with me. Uh, and he told, yes, very good idea. And just after, uh, just before the, the, the end of the call, he said, and, but what is about your project? <laughs> <laughs> It is okay to, to be in the prototype, but it, you, so most of the time, people go in a prototype, work in a prototype without knowing what is the strategy, what is the goal of the prototype, and most of the time without asking what are the needs. And you know that prototype uh, is the connection between technology and business, and it's really, really, really important and most of the time you are very good on the technology, uh, uh, on the technique aspects, technique fields, but you don't take the time to ask questions about, uh, about the business. Because on, when I say the business, it means not only to take money, but what will be the use, and for, sometimes it's for non-profit organization, what will be the use of your prototype. Because uh, with a lack of public funds in the US, in Europe, everywhere, maybe in Asia, in a few years, uh, most of the governments uh, on Europe ask to, to the projects, what will be the involvement for the society of your project? 
and you have to demonstrate at the beginning that your prototype will have strong involvement for the society, for companies, how many jobs will you be able to set up, to create, how, may, how do you improve uh, the, the economic development, so a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, implications of, the, of, your, uh, of your project. So the prototype needs to respond to market needs. Uh, a perfect example is, of course, the iPhone. And I think it's really, really uh, funny because uh, I will speak about the Tactileo project after. And this uh, Tactileo project is uh, use the tactile, you know, the tactile fact. And uh, I, uh, I, I look video two days ago, uh, two, yes, two days ago, and in on this video you have a baby uh, taking a magazine, you know, and he was on the magazine like that and trying yeah. to... Mm. Ah. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and at the end, the father says, a magazine is, for my son, a magazine is uh, 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 is an iPad who doesn't work, which doesn't work. Okay. And I think that Apple really spent spend time to, to look at the movement of the babies, and I think they identified maybe the basic movement of the hands of people, you know, because it, 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 it maybe this type of movement is more uh, uh, more natural than this movement. Okay, and I, 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 it's don't forget this uh, this idea. A magazine is a, uh, for my son. A magazine is an iPad which doesn't work. Okay, <laughs> maybe you, you you are not okay. I think iPad and iPhone are not good things because you you become totally dependent of your iPhone or iPad. But don't forget. This need of uh, of uh, to, to identify uh, the the economic needs. Um, so important things to remember when developing a prototype with other partners. Uh, this uh, so almost everyone is able to imagine and create a prototype, but I think that very few people are able to think beyond their own fantasies in order to take society's needs into account. The best example is the example of the call at the morning. Yes, we will do a prototype, it will be very good, and you, you can call another frame. So a lot, uh, the researchers are not organized because of the strategy of the project, but because of the different links between the different researchers. Uh, what is essential when imagining uh, on creating a prototype in a group is that each partner in the first day each partner identifies what they can bring to the project. It's, of course, it's important. And then jumps uh, and uh, what they can bring to the project as an individual. But it's the first thing. And the second thing, and it's not written, what they will win in the project. And I think it must be really clear at the beginning because most of the time, people go in a project, they spend time, for instance, in Portugal, uh, in France, in Romania, in different countries, and when they come back, their uh, their wife asks them, uh, "So, what did you do?" <laughs> I was in a project, but your project is about what? Um, it is to to draw a, a new wall, but it was very good because you know I was with this friend researcher that you know. Yes, but what is the goal? Okay, and what do you win to spend time in France? Uh, in UK, uh, the day of my birthday, you were here. The day of my birthday, you, you spend your time. So true. No, 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 no. You, you spend time in these different meetings. But explain me why it's more important than my birthday. What is the goal of your project? What do you win in this project? And it's really clear at the beginning, and I think it will be really important for your workshop, Daphne. What, what I win. Uh, in, in this project and what I give in this project. And after, in the second step, what is really important, that it will be really important for your workshop after, is to be in a collective approach, you know? And it's my main sentence, 
in my life the true strength of each human being in his ability to overcome his own individual condition of, from Albert Camus, a French uh, writer, you know, uh, uh, it, it's this collective approach and to, to be able to go beyond than his own perspective. So, to be quick, I have, I have only five minutes. It's okay. We're it's okay. Right. We're okay. Uh, my example, okay, just maybe two seconds, this uh, individual approach and collective approach. And these two steps are really important and equally, equally important. So, example of uh, Tactileo. So, Tactileo, it was a project that we, uh, we built in uh, less than two weeks, you know. Uh, you know, in France, uh, 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 since, since two, two years, uh, the government has uh, considered that they have to spend money in higher education and research, and they spend billions of billions uh, uh, that they don't have, of course, uh, and uh, researchers spend their time not to do research, but to uh, to build projects, okay? And com companies like Project Education are really happy because they can have help, uh, not, uh, and it's not free, uh, people to build projects. And sometimes we have only two weeks to build the project. Uh, what is interesting is that most of the time, researchers uh, ask uh, the help of Project Education to build the business plan or for dissemination, and most of the time they know they say, "Oh, I'm not able to do the budget, and people are not able in my university to to build the budget, and I don't understand what does it mean, KPI, key performance indicator. What does it mean? I think it's good for consultant, <laughs> not on the scientific aspect because we are really good on the scientific aspect." We have a good strategy, okay. and each time is the same thing. We arrive in the project and we ask, so what is your project? Yeah. And we have, when we, there, 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 is, there are 10 people in the room, we have 10 different versions of the project. Okay, uh, and when you have 15 persons in the room, you have 15 different versions uh, on, on, on presentations of the project. So, most of the time, you have to spend time on the definition of the strategy. What are the final, what is the final objective? What are the intermediary uh, uh, objectives? And what are the different actions uh, in, the, in the project? And here, for instance, at the beginning, it was a small project. It was only um, uh, what we call a payas, we know, uh, in, a, in, a, in a classroom. Uh, it was uh, when you do exper you make experiences in a classroom. I don't know what how you do that. Uh, Payas. Uh, in the lab. In the lab. What did you say, Jean-Pierre? Laboratory work. Yeah, lab ah. work or experiments. Small, yeah, small, yeah. Case, small case experiments. Yeah, yeah. small case experiences. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, because you know, in France, it's very old, uh, very old materials, and we try to do this project with uh, Microsoft and uh, with uh, a lot of uh, uh, modern, uh, modern issues. Uh, and at the beginning, it was only for uh, natural sciences and physics. And after, we think that it could be useful for literature, for English, because it was not only material, it was a new way to educate. Because, you know, you have this uh, numerical uh, platform and students can work together. So it's not only a way to do new experiences, for instance, to simulate a nuclear experience, but it's a way to have five, six, seven students around this table. And it's a new way to educate because they, they can work together to build this uh, this experience, and it's the same for the, for the teachers. They can prepare their course, they can prepare their experience together. Sometimes a teacher or a researcher 
is better for some things and another one for other things. So this platform is not only material, it's really a new way to educate. So it's a way to create a complete touch uh, environment. And at the end, what we uh, built like a project, it wasn't only a digital bench top or touchpad, it was the class of the future. So it's really, um, we, we built this project in looking for the needs, in looking for the use and for the needs. Okay? And we, we identified that the market only for digital batch top was too small uh, uh, for the moment, and the project at the, at the end was the class of the future. So, you know, the, in this experience, you had a lot of partners and really different. Here we wrote uh, what was the individual uh, strategies of each partner. You can see that these strategies were, were really different. And I can tell you that there, there were other partners that and they didn't stay in the project because they didn't have strategies. And for instance, Orange, Orange is not here. Orange, there was a, represent, a representative of Orange which, which was in the project at the beginning and he wasn't able to see what he could give to the project in contrast with Microsoft or in contrast with uh, the CLR um, and they don't, didn't stay in the project. So in this case, you, you can see that the objectives were really different. Uh, here you have the situation of a prototype which doesn't, we could uh, maybe uh, it's difficult to work and here just only 24 hours before the call, uh, be, before the end, and the, each minute was really important for attendance deadline, we noticed uh, an administrative rule. It was small, you know, <laughs> like in the invoice of Orange. Uh, <laughs> up to 30% of the grant could be allocated to R&D. So I have to explain to a researcher which was in Colombia, I think, that uh, he spent uh, two weeks to work on the project, uh, that he will stay in the project, but he won't have uh, the money that uh, he thinks he, he, he would have. And uh, at this moment, uh, it could be really a, a bad thing for the project because it was this one, IFE, which is a really important uh, 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 in research for education. And if this player was out of the project, I think it could be a, 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 a bad thing for the project. But in a collective approach, and in considering that in prototype, even if you, you have not the market after, you can learn a lot of things and he, he stayed in the project. But I think I, I can tell you that we spent two hours <laughs> trying to, to show the different implications of a project. So, it will be the new innovative uh, classroom, new organization. Very innovative. Yeah. yeah. Make no it. quote. Naked people. <laughs> Running all over. <laughs> we don't produce the people. <laughs> no, 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 no. Here, it was the first project for project education, you know? But people will have paid to, 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 do, to, do, to make a new project, and it will be not a new class, but a new man, and a new woman, yeah. without sex, you can see. Oh. <laughs> oh, so it has no future. <laughs> it, will be, it will be the front prototype, <laughs> the new and last man. <laughs> so, it, taxi deal. So, and how did we, did we succeed uh, this project in only uh, two, two weeks? Uh, I think it's uh, with the method that you, you share, and it's uh, maybe a little bit the same method that during this week, uh, in, we, we, we call this method uh, temps fort. So very, uh, it's during one or two days. Here it was during 
two times uh, one, one day uh, with people on uh, uh, which on, during this day people want to be ready in a collective approach. They must forget uh, that uh, who they are, really, not only why they are here, but who they are. It's really important. And uh, uh, it's the best way to, to, to succeed because at the, big, at, the, at, the, at the end, when you have to speak money, you, you cannot be uh, hypocrite. Uh, you, you, can, you cannot lie when you speak, speak money. Uh, because at this moment, people uh, uh, it's, have, to spend, uh, have to spend their money and to, to, to be really clear. So don't wait this phase of uh, financial aspect. Be collective uh, at the, the beginning and forget who we, who you are. Um, so you have the pictures of this moment. You have moments like this with everybody, and when you have workshops with uh, in a small group, uh, with a small group uh, uh, working on different fields of the, the project. I think that without this collective approach. And with this moment, uh, uh, during a why, uh, one day, it was impossible uh, to, to build, uh, to build uh, the project. So, to conclude, uh, I think it's really important to know why we are in a project and in a prototype, what we can win in this prototype. You have to ask to your neighbor in a meeting, uh, what is the market, what are the needs, uh, uh, what is your motivation to be in this project and what could you give to this, uh, to this project and to be really clear on, uh, on the real innovation of your prototype. And innovation is not only material, is not only software, is not only computer. Most of the time when I speak with the Minister of Education in France, which is totally uh, no comment. No comment. No comment. <laughs> they tell me, yes, you have to put innovation in the project. Yeah, okay. For instance, I don't uh, software, uh, new computers, and I tell, I don't think that innovation in education is only to put new software, new computers, and new printers. So, don't forget what is innovation. Thank you very much, and good luck. Thank you. Thank you.